Hi, my name is Dana. Welcome to Marine Cuisine, where we mix everything that has to do with cooking and everything that has to do with boating. And at the end of the day, we have one big party. So stick around. We're going to have boatloads of fun. Today we're at Lake Louisville at Pier 121, and we're here to visit my friend, Mr. Doug D'Artez. Good morning, Dana. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you. I brought you some flowers, and I hope you'll notice that they are in the Louisiana colors. <laughs> they are in my LSU Tiger purple and gold. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So tell me, what are we going to be cooking today? We're going to cook some of my wonderful gumbo. Mm. It's going to be pretty tasty. Nice cool day like this today. Gumbo and potato salad. Perfect. I can't wait. Let's do it. All righty. So no wait, I heard somewhere along the line that you have a cookbook? I do have a cookbook. Spent a couple of years creating cookbook of home style recipes for that I could share with my kids. Oh, that's wonderful. And if we wanted to get a copy of this, where would we get that? We'll have the information published to you. It's online for everybody to get. Perfect, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to get started here. What are we gonna do first? Well, let's get let's start with one of my favorites and everybody's favorite, bacon. <laughs> Goes in our potato salad, so let's start there. Okay. Warm up our, our cook plate. Okay. Bring it up to about 275 degrees so that you don't overcook your bacon as you're going along. All right, let's get our bacon rolled out here. All right. I can't wait to go for a ride on your boat. What kind of boat is that? That's a Sea Ray Express, 410 Express, wow. years 2001. It's a great toy. Nice, it's beautiful. And we'll go for a ride after we get th things rolling here. Okay, I'm excited. All right, so we've got the bacon going. Now, what comes next? Bacon's cooking up. Let's cut some chicken up so we can get it frying down, so we can pull it off later on, To because I like boneless chicken. Cutting a chicken's an interesting thing. Everybody cuts it different, but I'm gonna take off the arms first. Arms, call them arms or wings, either way. So take the wings off, you cut them into two pieces. The tip of the wing and then the little drum. Once you have the wings off, pull the legs out. You can see the skin, it comes in just like that. Roll it off. You'll notice where the bone is. You can take the, the leg and break the leg off. Once you get that apart, take your leg and take off the thigh bone off of it. My cooking, I like to use Tony Sacherets. This is a regular, I've got another bottle of bold later on. So let's sprinkle, oh, through the whole chicken, it's gonna be about two tablespoons of, of seasoning to use. Okay. Coat it real good on both sides. Add a little bit of vegetable oil to my pot. You can see it's hot, a little smoking in there. It's a nice pot. It's a big pot. Yeah, it's huge. I've never seen one that big. I think they actually call it a chicken fryer. So how appropriate is that to start my chicken in Pretty there? Pretty appropriate. All right, good. All right. The chicken's on. All right. So, Deb, one of your neighbors is coming to visit us. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the Cajun culture. Whoever happens to show up, my buddy Bentley. Hi. How Hi. you doing today, buddy? I'm doing well, how are you? Hi, Bentley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm Dana. Nice to meet you, Dana. I brought Bentley along to help me do some of the chopping. Uh, he comes with a little bit of a culinary background, spent do. some time in culinary school. I Tell did. us about that. I uh, spent a little bit of time in culinary school, but kind of like you, I learned most of what I know uh, from family, my mom mainly. Um, but I'm just here today on a beautiful fall day. It's kind of crisp outside. I'm uh, here to be your sous chef, man. Excellent. Well, let's uh, get some potatoes uh, peeling. We'll get them rolled up in uh, the water on the right-hand side. If you'll put it on high and start the burner. You got it. We'll get rolling with it. Now, tell me again where you got this pot. From La Perouche Grocery Store. Okay. In Cocodrie, Louisiana. All right, I gotta remember that. I've, I've really never seen anything quite that big. And I mean, it really, it holds so much. It's great. It does hold a whole bunch. We'll fill it up with gumbo later on. I've got one pot that was handed down from my great grandmother to my grandmother to my mother. My mom passed a couple years ago, and I begged her for the pot for many, many, many years. It was up in the attic. She wouldn't let me have it. About a month before she passed, she says, 
you can have it now. Oh my. And so I treasure it. This is what I make gumbos at home, smaller gumbos at home. Right. Etouffee's, uh -huh. uh, bisque, just anything to cook in. That one must be really seasoned. It, it's extremely seasoned. I, I think the pot is somewhere around 130 years old or something like so that. so wild. And they're just beautiful pots to cook nice. out of. Okay, well, I'm glad to learn about it. So the bacon's going, some of the bacon's uh, a little cooked up. Dana, how about a piece of bacon? Mm, I'll have a little bite. And maybe one of these days you can teach me something. What's that? When I cut, I'm cutting like this. Yeah, I know I got digits out there. Holding <laughs> on. I can't, I cannot do that. Well, you take the blade and you put it against the knuckle and that keeps you from chopping your fingers off. Dana? Yeah? While you're taking the chicken out, I'm gonna go dump the potatoes. Uh-huh. Dump them, I'm gonna pull them out okay. gently. Okay, all right. Bentley over here is gonna start cutting some sausage up that we can put back in the pan because we gotta use all the drippings from everything. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit about sausage in the world. I like to use a smoked sausage. You know, this is just a, a Hillshire smoked sausage, but what gives it the real flavor is the andouille. Andouille is a smoked Cajun sausage. All right, so I've pulled all the chicken out. Now, what right. do we do next? Next thing is let's uh, start cooking our sausage up. All righty. And Bentley's cut some of this up along with other things. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll just get him to continue doing that. While that's going on, we'll make our roux, cut the rest of the vegetables, and then we'll mix it all together and have a good time at it. Every Cajun dish, almost, uh -huh. you need a roux. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to make a roux next. So with a roux, it's about butter. I'm gonna use, for this size gumbo, I'm gonna use two sticks of butter here. Roux can burn pretty easily with just butter. Okay. Butter burns at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I do is that I add oil to it. I'm gonna add about three to four tablespoons of oil. So I'm gonna put about four tablespoons, four good sized tablespoons okay. of flour. All right, my butter's melting in there. Here's about two tablespoons. About heaping. three tablespoons. Heaping. heaping tablespoons. That's a pretty exact measurement that's, there you got, Doug. And that's that's a that's big about tablespoon. How I cook. <laughs> My baking. The the real key thing about roux is it takes time. You just gotta mix the flour in with the oil and, and butter, and it'll cook. It just takes time. Roux. The center of attention in a gumbo. Earlier I told you just cook it just darker than the color that you want your gumbo. A little chocolate peanut brown here. You want it, you gotta cook it, you gotta stir it to it so it doesn't burn, Dana. Because you put a burn roux, you've ruined your whole gumbo. Wow. Okay. So we can set this aside now, Dana, if you want. Depot the sausage. Bentley can chop vegetables and we can move to the next step of getting the Trinity together. Alrighty. What's the Trinity, huh? What's the Trinity? That's not the Father, the Son, the Holy <laughs> Spirit. The Trinity. Cajun Trinity is uh -huh. all about. Onions, uh -huh. garlic, and celery. That's ah. what we call the trinity at home. Really? It goes in just about every meal. All right, let's get ready for the next stage here. What's the next stage? Vegetables. All right, let's kind of start to bring all this together now, Dana, a little bit. We're going to uh, put our onions in and start to bring the vegetables together. Okay. All right, Chef, what do you want right. to start on next? The peppers? Bell let's do the, um, yeah, let's do the peppers. Perfect. Peppers will be next. All right, what we're doing here, we're just gonna saute the onions up to where they wilt down a little bit. Okay. All right, next step. Okay. The bell peppers need to go inside with the onions, the pretty stuff. That's beautiful. Nice. Mm. How pretty is that? Well, let's go in to chop the celery. Celery. And while you're chopping the celery, I'm gonna help you out and uh, peel some of that garlic. That is perfect. Dana, what's next? I don't know, you tell me. Well, we got the celery to go in now. All right. We're gonna finish the trinity out. Bentley? And so the trinity is the onions, onions the bell peppers, and the celery? Nope, nope. Onions, garlic, and celery. Onions, garlic, that's and three. celery. There we go. While that's going on, Bentley's gonna finish up with the green onions. Perfect. And we'll add the garlic into it. Yum. All the good stuff is in there now. Next step. Okay. Deboning chicken. Oh. Not a big science to it. So just take your chicken. Uh-huh. I can feel the skin there, pull the skin off. And then we're gonna break it into small pieces. All right. Just kind of crumble it up. Laissez le bon ton roulé. Let's bring it all in now, huh? Okay, let's all do right. it. Let the good times roll. <laughs> all right. We're gonna add the last of the, the garlic. 
Mmm, smells so good. Now, Dana. Yes. I told you we were going to bring it all together. Let's yes. do it, huh? Okay. I'm all ready. Right. Does that look good? Yes. Well, it's I like, can't. It, it's like right. it looks like caramel. You see this hand right here? That's my left hand. I can't do anything with it. Why? Because it's my left hand. I'm right-handed. <laughs> all right, scrape it all in there. All right. All right. Good chocolate color there. Yeah. What What's do you want next? to put in next? I don't care. This one. All right. The sausage. Let's do it. Let these guys see what's going on here. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for the help. I can use all I can get. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Another good thing, you every time like... you add something, just stir it up, make it look good. Stir, add and stir. stir. All right. I like those directions. Let's okay. do the next one. All right. All the chicon. A la chicon. My accent's getting better. Let's have some water. I need about oh, a quart and a half, two quarts of water. And as, as my Cajun buddies say, raju. Don't ask me what it means, I don't know. <laughs> but it just sounds good. Raju. Raju. All right, Dana. Mm. It's all together. I'm so excited. It's only about time now. You gotta let it cook. Okay. Now, for a good gumbo, it means we're gonna come back tomorrow and eat it. Mm. But today, no. We're gonna eat it today, it looks too good. Good. In the meantime, how about a boat ride? Does that oh. sound fun? Perfect, I'm awesome. in. Hey, Dana. Hey. Thanks for bringing your folks out tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Nice boat ride. We finished cooking. Now we're after it. Nice. Enjoy a gorgeous day like today out here on the water. Exactly. Exactly. And you know, that's about Cajun life. <laughs> it's about family and friends. So I'm, I'm glad learning. you brought your folks out. Thank you. Now, tell me again. You told me before, but tell me again what kind of boat is this? It's a 2001 okay. Sea Ray oh. Express Cruiser. It's a 410. Wow. So it's powered by... Two Mercury 8.1 engines. Runs about 375 horsepower per engine. Sounds like a lot of a lot of power there, but you know, got a lot of weight behind here. There's 28,000 pounds dry on this boat. Wow. So it'll get up and go. It's not a speedboat, but it'll go about maybe 25 miles an hour. Ah. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for inviting us all on your boat. It's just a beautiful day, and I love, I love this boat. My pleasure to take you guys out. That's what boating's all about. It's about being with family and friends and sharing. Agreed. Agreed. That's the wonderful thing about life. Joy <laughs> de vivre. Joy de vivre. Joy de vivre. The joy of life. The joy of life. <laughs> Coming down to the end, it's all about potato salad. Mmm, good. Let's do it. We got potatoes we boiled up earlier. Add a little extra, a little celery, some bacon, some eggs, mustard, mayonnaise, dill relish, Tony Sacherets. Oh, we got to have a little Tony's in here. Spice it up a little bit. We'll put that in there. We'll add our eggs. This is kind of like throwing it all together. Add our celery. Just a little extra filling there. Oh yeah, don't forget about the bacon. The bacon's the good part. Can you look at that, huh? A little dill pickle relish, best made. That's, that's a Louisiana favorite. About three-fourths of a cup of dill relish. Maybe a little more, I like a little dill. Some mayonnaise. We like some mayonnaise. And top it off with a little French's mustard. Just got to mix it up. Got a lot in here, so it's going to take a minute to get it mixed up. Get it all, all the juices going together with it. There we go. We got potato salad now. We're all done for the day. It's time for some la manger. Let's eat it up, huh? How's your mama? My mama? I'd have to slap her if she was here. Because <laughs> it's going to be something good. Oh, my gosh. Doug, I have to thank you so much. Thank you for this wonderful lesson in cooking. Which... Thank you for the <laughs> fabulous boat ride. Bentley, you as well. Thank you very much. It's I'm been a glad pleasure to be here. Have... Doug, you have outdone yourself. This I'm has telling been absolutely you. Absolutely amazing. Thank I can't so wait to try this. And Well, let's do it, huh? Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Here we are. 
It's boat appetite, do you Boat know? appetite. <laughs> it's good, I know that. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Man. Oh yeah. Nice work. I'm yes. never leaving. Promotional consideration by Pier 121, a safe harbor marina. For information on slip rentals, visit pier121.com.